respected dignitaries on the dais, Sri Honorable Minister Sri K.T. Ramaragaru, Industries IT Municipal Minister, Honorable Minister Niranjana Digaru, Honorable Secretaries Adarsana Garu, Jayesh Ranjan Garu, Raghunandan Rao Garu, Ramesh Garu, Akil Kumar Garu, Ladies and Gentlemen, on behalf of Government of Telangana, and personally, I welcome all the participants for the Food Conclave 2023, hosted by Government of Telangana in the historic city of Hyderabad. The main objectives, objective of the program is to discuss the strategies for improvement of food security to mankind through green revelation, yellow revelation, white revelation, pink revelation, and blue revelation. Under the dynamic leadership of Honorable Chief Minister Ki Sri K. Chandrasekhar Rao, the Talangana state has made huge progress in agriculture, dairy, fisheries, poultry, and food processing sectors. The state has emerged to first position the country from the 10th position in gross state domestic product. Agriculture and allied sectors have developed by planned use of water resources, electricity, and other natural resources, providing many opportunities to the youth in the state. Food processing fishery sector have gained momentum in Telangana state. They are 27.52 lakh people depend on livestock sector for their livelihood in, Tel in Telangana state. Telangana state has introduced white revelation, pink revelation, and blue revelation, and also improved dairy industry, sheep and goat farming, and fish sector in the state. Telangana state is in 13th position in the country in milk production. After formation state, government has introduced various welfare programs to develop dairy sector in the state. The milk production in the state has increased by 37 percent in the last eight years. With the help of modern technology, financially help to farmers, fodder cultivation, and artificial insemination, the government has introduced milk incentive scheme by providing four rupees liter during the 2014 support the farmers pouring milk to cooperative dairies of the state. 42 mobile dairy parlor have been introduced along with online marketing of milk to provide easy access milk all the time. 100 mobile veterinary units have been introduced to serve the livestock at farmer at doorstep on free of cost for the first time in the country. Hygienic merit frozen cement doses are being produced at frozen cement bull stations, Karimnagar to produce 20 lakh frozen cement doses for annum for providing quality of livestock population in order to increase milk production. Government of Telangana is setting up a mega dairy project with an out outlay of 
rupees 246.50 crores. This project is aimed to process 5 lakh liter of milk per day. They encourage farmers to take up dairy farming. 59,662 milk animals have been distributed to the dairy farmers. After information of Telangana state, the government has focused on sheep and goat population in the state. The state occupies fifth position in the meat production in the country. Telangana state stands first position in sheep population in the country. Main source of meat in our state from chicken 45 percent, sheep 33 percent, buffalo 13 percent, goat 8 percent, and pig 1 percent. Sheep Rearing Development Program, as introduced in 2017, improve the social economy condition of the people depending on the sector and also meat production. During the first phase of the program, 3.93 lakhs beneficiaries were provided with sheep units. During the second phase, in planned to cover 3.3 38, 38, 3 lakh 38,000 lakh beneficiaries. Telangana state occupies third position in egg production in the country. Egg are being supplied pregnant women through Anganwadi centers and to the school children staying in the government hostels. Value addition and food processing of milk and meat has generated a fixed capital of 7,000 crores and by providing employment to 80,000 youth in the state. It is a plan to develop food processing units in 10,000 acres of land by the end of 2024 and 25. At present, there are 91 reservoirs and 28,938 28, perennial and seasonal tanks, 7.3 lakhs hectares water spread area suitable for fish culture in the state. Fish production in Telangana state has doubled from 1.98 lakhs as Tons with a value of 2,252 crores in the year 2016 and 17 to 3.9 lakhs tons with the rupees 5,080, 859.95 crores, 2001, 2021 and 22. During the current year, 2023, we have achieved 4.38 lakh ton of fish production. First state to stock 414.13 crores fish seed with any expenditure rupees 348.93 crores on 100% grant all open water bodies since 2016 and 17 till date. First state to stock 28.34 crores Freshwater prawn juveniles in the suitable water bodies with expenditure 64.66 crores 2017-18 to till date. The biggest aqua hub in underway at Mid Monero Dam of Rajana Sirisilla district with an expected production of 1.24 2.24 lakhs tons for the Hanum, creating about 5,000 direct employment. It is the largest freshwater aqua hub in the world. The project consists of fish product processing unit in 300 acres and fish culture in a 150 acres. Other activities, other activities in the project include 
fish-seed culture, fish-seed production, cage culture and fish processing units, the project provided good opportunities to local fishermen and youth. With an aim to achieve overall development of fisheries in the state, government, the government of Telangana has spent 1,000 crores under integrated development of fisheries from 2017-18 to 2022-23. I am happy to share the all the above programs have been introduced and implemented with guidance and support of beloved Honorable Chief Minister Sri K. Chandrasekhar Rao Garu. I wish you the convention a grand success. Thank you. Thank you, one and all.